the sweet moment a glowing Megan looked down at her baby bump was captured today as she visited the town of Asnipe to learn about the Moroccan NGO Education for All. The pregnant Duchess of Sussex, 37, was seen glancing at her stomach as she sat alongside Prince Harry, 34, for the investiture ceremony at an Education for All, IFA, boarding house, providing education for girls aged 12 to 18 from rural communities. Meghan, who is currently on day two of their three-day tour of Morocco, looked chic in a 395-pound. 34 Alice and Olivia tailored long navy blazer with a white tunic, skinny jeans teamed with black slingbacks, and a 67-pound blanked scarf from Wilfred. As they spoke to staff in the educational facility, Harry jokingly pretended he was unaware that his wife who is due at the end of April is expecting. In a second room, where the Duke and Duchess met privately with staff, one teacher congratulated Meghan on her pregnancy. In an lively engagement, in which the Duke feigned surprise over his wife's pregnancy, the royal couple told teenagers in Morocco to keep it up after learning that parents in rural and socially conservative areas prefer to keep their daughters at home. Sitting next to one another, the Duchess's bump visible through her open jacket, the Duke turned to his wife and pulled a face of mock shock. Surprise, said the Duchess. She's pregnant, joked the Duke. Education for all started off with just eight girls in one house 10 years ago and now houses 194 girls from surrounding rural communities in term time. During the visit the Duchess took part in a henna ceremony an ancient custom that is thought to have its roots in North Africa and had a design painted on her hand to celebrate her pregnancy. The traditional henna flower was applied by 17-year-old Samira, who has lived at IFA for six years. Meghan is currently on day two of her official three-day tour of Morocco with Prince Harry. It is thought that Meghan is around 30 weeks pregnant, with most airlines allowing women to fly until the 37-week mark. The couple arrived to Casablanca Airport yesterday, where they were welcomed by the British ambassador to Morocco and his wife before they inspected a guard of honor. The Duke and Duchess were two hours late for their welcoming ceremony following the knock-on effects of an earlier delay to their scheduled plane which flew from the UK. In darkness Harry inspected a sabre-carrying guard of honor from the auxiliary forces, dressed in their pristine white uniforms and formed in two rows. The heavily pregnant Duchess walked behind her husband as he looked over the troops who had been patiently waiting for over an hour. But despite spending a busy few days in New York for her luxury baby shower, which featured a string of A-list celebrities, Meghan looked relaxed and wore a striking red Valentino dress. They are spending day two of their tour visiting various schools in the small town of Asnai before attending a reception hosted by British ambassador, Thomas Riley. Monday. The third and final day of their tour will be spent meeting children with special needs before visiting a cooking demonstration, a traditional Moroccan arts and crafts display, and attending a horse grooming session at an equestrian facility. Glowing Megan kept her makeup to a minimum and also added a and a 67-pound blanked scarf from Wilfred Celebration. Harry and Meghan during this morning's henna ceremony as they visited the Education for All boarding house for girls aged 12 to 18 in Asnai on day one of the tour a Kensington Palace spokeswoman said, their royal highnesses are very much looking forward to the visit and are grateful to their hosts and the British Embassy for arranging such an interesting program. They are particularly pleased that they will have the opportunity to meet so many young Moroccans over the next few days. 
The couple began their visit to the capital Rabat by walking along a red carpet that led to Casablanca Airport's royal suite. As they entered the building they were offered milk and dates of traditional welcome in Morocco. Pregnant Meghan appeared to pass, but Harry could be seen nibbling on a date. A large motorcade of black limousines was waiting to take Meghan and Harry and their entourage of nine to meet Morocco's crown prince Maulay Hassan. They are staying as guests of Morocco's King Mohammed VI at a royal residence.